Welcome back everybody, Patrick here. Moving on to another question. We got the limit as x approaches zero of the third root of x minus 1,000 plus 10 all over x. First thing you always wanna check with limits, can you make a direct substitution? If you plug in zero for x, notice you'll get zero in the numerator and zero in the denominator. It doesn't actually really matter what you get in the numerator. If the denominator is ever equal to zero, can make a direct substitution. So what can we do here? Well, notice that we're dealing with the third root of something. And whenever we've been dealing with third roots or ugly roots like that, we've been using the change of variable strategy. We're going to have to do the same thing here. If this was just a square root, then we can potentially rationalize it. But because we're dealing with a third root, let's do a change of variable. And instead of writing the third root of x minus 1,000, I'm going to change this and write it as x minus 1,000 to the power of 1 over 3, which is the same thing. So to do a change of variable, we got to let a new variable equal that whole term. So let's say u is equal to x minus 1,000 to the power of one over three. And what we do now is we have to isolate for this x here. So what we do is we take both sides to the power of three, basically the reciprocal of that exponent. One over three, reciprocal of that is three over one, or just three. And the reason why we do that, here we'll have u cubed, and then one over three times three gives us one, which just gives us x minus 1,000. And then we can bring this minus 1,000 over, and we got u cubed plus 1,000 equals x. And now notice we can make a substitution for this x here with this expression, and for this x minus 1,000 to the power of one over three with just u cubed. However, if our new limit is going to be in terms of u, then this is going to change as well. We have to have the limit as u approaches a certain number. Well, if x is approaching 0, then what is u approaching? Well, we can figure that out with our initial uh, change of variable. So we know that u is equal to x minus 1,000 to the power of 1 over 3. Well, if x is approaching 0, if we plug in 0 for x there, we'd have minus 1,000 to the power of 1 over 3, which would give us a u value of negative 10. So as x approaches 0, that's the same as u approaching negative 10. So we would substitute this in for x approaching zero. So let's make all these substitutions. So we got the limit now as u approaches negative 10 of this here, we're gonna sub in uh, u for that. So that would be u plus 10 all over. And for this x, we're gonna sub in u cubed plus 1,000. Right, so it's looking a lot nicer already. Notice that we still can't make a direct substitution. We can't plug in negative 10 because the denominator is going to be zero. But notice now that we're not working with any ugly radicals. And u cubed plus 1,000, that's actually a sum of cubes. So you can factor that denominator into u plus 10 times u squared plus, uh, or rather minus, 10u plus 100. Right, so if you remember, just in general, the sum of cubes formula, a cubed plus b cubed, that factors into a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. So that's how we went from here to here. We just factored it as a sum of cubes. And now notice that the u plus tens will cancel out. So we'll be left with one over u squared minus 10u plus 100. And now we can make a direct substitution. 
So if we plug in negative 10 for u, we would have 100 minus uh, 10 times negative 10 gives us plus 100. So that would be plus 200 plus 100. So that would give us 1 over 300. Basically, if you plug in negative 10 for the u value in this bracket, you would end up with 300. And so that is your final answer. The limit of this function here is equal to 1 over 300. And we did it with the change of variable strategy.